everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we are reaching you welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again guys for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen mixed reactions as the police release fresh updates on the search for the ESN official camp. ESN, that is the Eastern Security Network set up by um, the indigenous people of Biafra and their leader, Nam Dikano. Um, we know not long ago, um, the, the military released a statement that um, they are going to use everything they have, all their ammunition to search out the ESN, get them and um, really, really deal with them. It looks like ESN is a threat to them. We know so far the um, Southeast governors have not supported this ESN. To them, they feel like um, it's not what they will um, support because it's not in accordance to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You can't just have a separate body working on its own and just operating independently, um, not in line with um, the government itself. It's still a country, it's still Nigeria, so um, there should be no um, independent body just operating. That is the standard, is the position of Southeast governors. They've actually even distanced themselves from Nandi Kano, stating that he's on his own. Anything he's doing, they should not. Um, I think the, the position they are taking right now, maybe it's just to let President Mohamed Buhari know that and they are not part of anything Unam Dikano is doing, not um, to get in the bad book of President Mohamed Buhari. Anyway, guys, uh, uh, the military, they've been into um, searching for the location of ESN because ESN, right now, they are in an indisclosed uh, position and location. You know, when the photos came out and they, they broke the news of this um, new security outfit, the location was not disclosed and the military, they really want to get down to know where they are and they said them they are really going to deal with them. A lot of reactions have been coming up. Some reactions initially when the military made that statement that they are going to use everything within their power, every sort of ammunition, armory, everything to search them out. The reactions were like, why not um, look for Boko Haram? If you have all of this, the ESN is not a threat to um, citizens. They are not causing any kind of harm. They are not kidnapping. They are not killing innocent citizens. So what is the problem of um, the military? Where they should focus that energy to? They are not doing the right thing. Right now, mixed reactions again. So they've not given up on that search. They are still searching for the location of this ESN. We're getting update right now what is going on. But before we carry on, my beautiful people, please, guys, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Mixed reactions as the police release fresh updates on the search for the ESN official camp. Nigerians have reacted following the statement released by the Nigerian police force regarding the search for the Eastern Security Network official camp in the southeast. The Nigerian police revealed that they were yet to locate the hideout of the Eastern Security Network officials, but will continue the search until they are discovered. On Wednesday, some food items surfaced online, which were given to ESN in order for them to continue their duties. The police also urged members of the public to provide them with the valuable information should, in case they come across any camp belonging to the ESN official. Wow. So the announcement that is causing this uh, mixed reactions is the police um, crying out and stating that up to now we, are, we haven't found them. We are monitoring um, their, their events. In their exact words, they stated, we are yet to locate Eastern Security Network officials in the Southeast. The police are on ground and are monitoring every development, but we have not found any ESN official camp anyway so that was their their statement recently and they are calling out on uh citizens indigenous as well that if they can help they should do that very well to disclose their location that they really want to get hold of these people that they've not found their location and nigerians reacted seriously but this reaction is a mix one some are for uh the nigerian police and some are against them we'll get all of the details and uh, someone is saying here have you finished sorting out boko haram and bandits while creating war in the east when there is none you know so that's the same initial uh um, reaction that what is what is the problem with this esn that uh, have they finished dealing with boko haram another one says mieti allah and its foot soldiers 
Fulani headsmen bear AK-47. They now have their own unregistered security outfit called Mieti Ala Vigilanti. So what's the obsession with anything that comes from the East? All of these are still against um, that because to them, they feel that um, Mieti Ala, they are allowed to carry uh, arms, even Fulani headsmen that uh, ESN have not caused any harm, they've not caused any trouble or anything in the Southeast. Why are they after them? Someone here is saying this is called party. Has it been registered by INEC or is it another propaganda? We actually need strong youth party so we can fight through the ballot like Ugandans are doing right now instead of insurrection in the name of protest. Someone is saying right now that um, this um, ESN, they can turn it into something else. Let it be a political party. Let it get registered by INEC so that um, they can actually fight um, the corrupt leaders just the same way uh, is being done in Uganda. Another person says, please, Nigerian police, I urge you to channel this strength to the north. Don't add to the primary responsibilities. At least they are also assisting you to protect the common man. In as much as the ESN are not abusing the gesture, let them be. We need more efforts. All of the reactions so far are supporting ESN that um, they should channel their attention somewhere else, that ESN is fighting for the common good, for the protection of um, lives and properties. Another person says, um, how many headsmen killers have you apprehended? You know, um, so <laughs> Western Security Network and Moteku exist, but Eastern Security Network doesn't. The Western, that, the Western Security Network, we know that one, um, it was a combination of all the uh, uh, Southwest um, governors. They came together and decided to form a Moteku. But this one, the only issue with this one right now is that even the Southeast um, governors, they are not in support. That is the only um, controversy regarding this Eastern network right now. Because this person is comparing a Moteku to um, the Eastern um, Security Network ESN. That why would they not allow it to exist when a Moteku exists? Maybe if they've gone through the right channel to sit down and have a discussion and come up with this. But we know all of this is spearheaded by Unam Dekanu alone. Quite interesting, uh, they, they are still in search. The Nigerian police force are still in search for ESN. Guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.